Hello, everybody. Welcome back to The Huddle, the Review.com's weekly high school sports show. I'm executive editor Rob Toder of the Alliance Review, joined as always by Mike Brown, our sports editor. And Mike, we're in full swing of high school tournament action. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's talk about uh, track and field first. The NBC Northeastern Buckeye Conference Championships are Friday at Cannes South. Right. But let's talk about the boys first. Who do you, who you like in the boys' championship? Well, I tell you, I think that's going to be a great race because, you know, West Branch finished the regular season, Rob, 7-0. Uh, but how that works, and it's a weighted championship in track. So I've seen it before where a team finished 7-0 and in a regular season, had a, an injured runner in the league meet, and finished, I believe, below third. And if you do that, you don't win a piece of the title, as strange as that sounds. So uh, if West Branch finishes it, I believe, in the top three Friday, it's guaranteed a piece of the title after winning the regular season championship. But there are so many good teams there, Rob. I mean, Marlington, Garrett Floyd, tremendous athlete. There's uh, Louisville always has great distance. I mean, it's really going to be uh, – it's going to be really close, I think, between West Branch, Marlington, uh, po possibly Louisville, Carrollton you could throw in the mix. I mean, there's – Lions has some really good individuals. Uh, it, it's going to be a great race in the in the boys' action on Friday. Okay, and we'll uh, talk about Howard Frazier a little bit. He was yeah. our at male athlete of the week, mm -hmm. uh, a jumper from Alliance. Right, and there's one of those young athletes I'm talking about could really make a splash Friday at the NBC meet because there's a guy who you know was in middle school last year and and he's had a tremendous year, first year in high school, and there's one of the younger ones I was talking about could do really well on Friday. Okay. How about the girls' side? The girls' side, I think Louisville uh, won the regular season title. It's a mythical title. You know, like I said, it's weighted. Uh, but I think the Louisville girls obviously have the depth, and they did very well in the dual meet season. And I'll tell you, one of their top athletes is Devin Kring, the great hurdler, uh, and uh, she's really good. She should be a factor uh, in both hurdles there. And they've got a lot of other good uh, runners too. So I think Louisville will be the favorite in the girls. But, again, uh, there's some other teams that have really good individuals. You know, the West Branch girls have some good individuals. Marlington girls have good individuals and, and some of the other teams too. So mm -hmm. I really think it's going to be interesting to see how the team races play out come Friday. Okay. Now next week the the, uh, the district meet begins uh, with the eye towards Columbus and the state championships. And I know you like the St. Thomas girls a lot. Yes, I do. I think they've got – I mean, they have staying power. You know, they uh, just missed the state title last year by a point. And they have almost that entire team back. And, you know, they have some standouts like Athena Welch and, and Rachel Adams. And it goes on. And the Sunland sisters. It goes on and on and on. I mean, these aren't just good athletes. These are some of the best athletes in Ohio at their, their uh, events. And I think when it's all said and done, I think they're going to be right there challenging for the team state title. And I think they have a chance to win several individual state titles when they uh, get to Columbus in a few weeks. Outstanding. Uh, let's turn our attention to baseball and softball. The tournaments have begun around the area. Sebring picked up a nice win uh, earlier this week in, in the first round of the Division Four tournament. And uh, some other teams are looking to do pretty well as well. Yeah, that was a good win for the Sebring baseball team. You know, they uh, won a sectional title and uh, beat a good Heartland Christian team. I think they were the third seed, and Sebring uh, knocked them off. So, you know, the Trojans are in the district next week, so congratulations to them. Uh, and also we had the uh, the West Branch girls softball team won a sectional title uh, yesterday. They're in the district again, and, and they had a good win over a Southeast team that had a lot of wins this year. The Southeast team has done very well in the Poise Trail Conference, and West Branch knocked them off. Uh, fairly handily uh, for a sectional title. So I think the West Branch girls are in the district next week. They're going to face their old nemesis, the Poland Bulldogs. Yeah, yeah. And that's they've had some great games over the – I mean, games have come down to the last at bat, the last the, the last batter in a game a couple times. Uh, so I look for that to be another good matchup come next week. And the West Branch boys uh, baseball team clinched mm -hmm. a share of the NBC title. And, and that uh, – did they kind of come out of uh, out of nowhere there? I knew we knew before the season they were going to be a contender, but yeah. uh, a little bit of ups and downs during the season. But they they really looked well, looked good against Louisville in a showdown. Game. Right, West Branch has some nice hitting, and they've got uh, two really dominant starting pitchers. And if you have two really good dominant pitchers at the high school level, you can go a long way. Yeah. And and that's what they've got this year. And and I look for them to be a they could be a factor too. Again. You know, they, they're into the district. They're in the Youngstown district, uh, unlike some of our other teams are in the Canton district. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I mean, there's some really good baseball teams in that district. Canfield's in there. Poland's in there. Mooney's in there. Uh, 
Uh, but, uh, you know, I think they can hold their own with anybody. Okay. Well, we're going to have coverage of all those events and much more uh, throughout the week and, and in the upcoming weeks in the Alliance Review and on the review.com. So if you see Mike or myself out at an event, make sure you stop and say hello. For Mike Brown, this is Rob Toter. We'll talk to you next week.